way back we've been friends since way back made in since way back how it's been since way back since back then can't change that we've been yeah no i mean good trailers i mean the build-up's been good and it's i mean it's a worldwide phenom phenomenon you know what i mean it's not like this isn't gonna get views mm -hmm. or you know this i mean it'll it'll even theoretically pull a little bit of the draw from the avengers um in the coming weekend which will be interesting for their sales projections towards uh avatar that's what i was gonna put yeah did you part. see that whole list of what they had uh they have coming out for Marvel, no. No, well, for Disney, Disney did no, the whole I, thing. They did a big so one. they have like I can't believe this. Literally, they have four or five Avatar movies planned. I'm like, really? Like, really? I, like my thing. When is, did the first one right, come out? Here's the, it was years. It was like 2000. And they're really still trying to plan eight. to do it's the second. It's probably the what 2000. And they just delayed the second one now again. Now they pushed it again like, until 2020. And I, I'm sure they're getting like. And that's the thing I have to wonder is how much money they put in. Because that's the other thing people forget when they're like, oh, James Cameron had this. He didn't have a bill. Up. Yeah, but James Cameron spent like. Six hundred million dollars yeah. in special effects on that. And movie. then, like, I see some people saying, like, on some people posting, like, we got gypped on the Avatar. <laughs> They're like, they they made this thing like so like, and I, you know, really, I, I wasn't paying attention to movies back then too much, and I, I honestly. I kind of remember the marketing for a little bit for it, but like I guess yeah, it was kind of like they did make a big deal of it. They were gonna say it was just gonna be the next biggest you know movie ever. I mean, made. they said it was, but I feel like their advertisement was more about like it's in 3D and new 3D. Yeah, that's what it was. Because even of. before that, like you really like you got the general sense of what it was about, right? You had the Navi or whatever, which. And shout I like out, the whole story. Like, I, I mean, all right, I like the story, but can you tell me the main character's names off the Ooh. top of your head? No. No. It's an okay movie. It really isn't the two point eight billion dollar movie it ended up being. No. It's it's fine. It's got a good. It's got that Pocahontas s story. Oh, your, yeah. fr your friend Arrow yeah. came to join the, the cast. Yep. All right, here you're gonna come <laughs> up here then until you leave because I know if I pick you up you'll want to leave. <laughs> it's Harold. What's up, Harold? He's our mascot. How you doing, boy? He's incredible. But, I mean, incredible going back to, machine. like, yeah, so I was going to the lists, and so they have that, right? I don't and know. He they, usually dips right the fuck out. And then uh, they, they just pushed again now uh, the New Mutants now again. Right, next which... Year. They need to get that out. I'm if they're just ever laughing at get that it. because, like, I at the AMC they have they have posters. I, it's that been says there. That's gonna come out in it's October. It's been there think, right? for like a year. Oh my god! It's my been gosh. there and it's been coming out, and I'm done waiting for it. You know what I mean? Like, God, oh, Jesus Christ! Like, I seriously am so done waiting for that shit because I love the idea. I think it looks great. I, yeah, I like, like the idea bad. that they're going to go hard. Yeah, it looks great. For New Mutants, it's cool. They got all the original cast, it looks like. When you like try to line people up with the original New Mutants yeah. cast, you can see uh, Cannonball. You can see uh, Wolfsbane. You can see... You know, you could see all these characters coming out. I can't remember. Do you remember the, the, char the character from the comics that, like... It, obviously, it's Legion in the comics that runs the New Mutant stuff at the start. But what was the one who was doing the dreams again that like brought it out? I forget the mutant with like the psychic dream power, but it was like a nightmare power. Mm, the only ones I can think of that uh, now I gotta look. I, I have to know. I can't think of any of them. The only ones I really because I've been kind of getting more into the mutants. I just know that there's Wolfsbane, right? Yep, so you got Wolfsbane. You and got Warlock. Warlock. Right? Uh, Warlock comes in later. He's not originally a part and of the new mutants. You got um, he comes Warpath, in with Warpath, which his original name was also not one of the original new mutants. He comes on later. Um, um, star, uh, magic. Magic is one of the original mutants. Um, I new mutants. Uh, you've got. Cannonball. Oh, Cannonball. Okay, yeah. I mean, I Cipher. Really liked him too much. Cipher. What's Cipher is one of the originals. Cipher is the mutant with the uh, language ability. Okay. And he's the one who partners up with Warlock. Okay. Uh, I can't remember. I think Sunspot might have been one of the original ones. Yeah, he was. I think he was. Yeah. Uh, That's I'm trying. I'm looking movie through movie. all of them and trying to. Daniel Moonstar. Moonstar. That's who it was. Okay. They just call her I've Danny. Before, yeah, but... and her uh, 
she can telepathically create illusions of her opponent's greatest fears. Okay. And so she is what the supposedly what the plot's gonna be revolving around. Like all that shit's just her power fucking oh. with their heads. Okay. You know what I mean? But what, what, oh god, don't, don't, oh, he got it. He's good. He don't always got it. We'll see if he leaves. We'll All see. right. <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I was excited for it, and now I'm kind of like, well, no. I, I kind of almost the thing that anymore. fucks me up is I don't want it to run the Gambit route because we just confirmed Gambit. Oh yeah, on it's done. They it says canceled. Yep. Yeah, huh? Yep, it's Kate. That was another. Th- yeah, see, dude, there's a bunch of things that they had that yeah. they released. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you're happy for this, but they they just confirmed that they will be doing the Bob's Burgers movie in 2020. Uh, I don't really care. I'm not. A big Have, Bob's you never really care for Bob's Burgers. It's fine. I'm I, I've them. watched I just don't find it that funny you know the only characters I really care for are probably honestly um, the big sister yep and, and honestly the big sister and the little sister, and the, little sister yeah. <laughs> yeah. the little boy voiced by Patton Oswalt is just kind of weird and annoying yeah and not he's alright he's alright he's right, sometimes not, he's gotten me one time he's, like, okay that was a good one yeah he's okay one. but he's not like Louise or whatever the, yeah, fuck yeah, or the yeah. other one's name is um, Louise is usually the fan favorite and then you have fuck what's her name the older sister who is like socially I awkward. Her name. Actually, is that I'm forgetting her name. Let's see. We'll we'll just look real quick. Bob. Tina. There, Tina. Oh, Tina. Tina. Yeah. I uh, think about it for yep. a second. <laughs> I was just like, and <laughs> Tina is the one where like people are always like, I'm Tina. You know what I mean? Like, I really with Tina just. <laughs> and like Tina and her are pretty funny, but the plots aren't funny to me. Yeah. Like, I don't feel the comedy in them. Like. Sometimes it feels so forced, like the one and the one. I get. I think that was probably the episode, and I think that's the very first episode actually, where he buys the animal ass art just to fuck with the. Uh, you thing. know, I kind of like that. Episode. I thought it was thought such was a stretch. Of... It was like, oh, they're not gonna write any jokes. They're just gonna put pictures of animal asses on there. <laughs> Okay, I thought it was kind of stupid, but then at the like same time, like I said, I wasn't, like, I wasn't impressed. I wasn't uh, entertained. I, I, didn't, I wasn't. It was just like not that funny to me. Yeah, it, like it's kind of like The Simpsons, where they're just like they're there, but they're not really. Yeah, but The Simpsons kind of like, actually like, has good writing. Some of the it really like, does. Really like too much it's humor. got all the yeah, but it's got four years. So you're bound to have yeah. out of ten, however many thousand episodes, you're gonna have some that you're people not gonna are like. When is that gonna end? But too? yeah, and that one has been on too long for. God knows when. That's, and, that's what I say. Like these last few seasons, honestly, I, I honestly. Oh yeah, that's these best. last few seasons. I'm not. I'm talking oh, no, Simpsons. That, and no, 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 yeah, they are, like us. Yeah, and they, good, but they I'm have just... good writing, not just in the realm of plot, right? They yeah. have good dialogue writing, which yeah. I feel like Bob lacks. They have good subtext jokes, which I also feel like Bob Burgers touches, but is not very good at. Right? The Burger of the Day is the perfect example. That's a subtext joke. Mm-hmm. It's in the background. No one's. I mean, actually, and that's how they fuck it up too. Is they say it all the time, so it makes it not a subtext joke. It takes it out of the thing. But if you go through Simpsons, Futurama, Family Guy, any of the other animated cartoon series, look in the background on half the episodes. Find some jokes. There are yeah. jokes written Sometimes into the scenery. Like... There are jokes written into the. All well, there's the some things I just throw in there, just like. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's on the move. It's a joke. It's in the second, and it's it's kind of same thing like with gumball a little bit too. Sometimes they'll just throw a thing. Eh, sometimes it's not a little. They're a little more random, but I would say that's around the same kind of thing. Family Guy is more that style where they'll yeah. just throw in something totally like. Oh yeah, that reminds me of the reference thing. And they, and they, and they you know, they that, killed that. Oh, and, you know, they, and they always made, they made fun of themselves for yes. doing that. Which too. I love. That's why I like family guys. They're never too sure. They're they're always ready to poke fun at themselves. And the other thing is like, oh, all right. Well, the mic's on, and I think it sounded all right, didn't it? Did we check? I um, forgot to switch the mics out. But... Look. Yeah, sounds good. All right, I can hear myself on there. Good, good, good. Oh, he's just checking, but yeah, like the and so like Bob Burgers. There's nothing wrong with it. I can sit and watch it. It's just not that show. I, I still haven't even gotten through season one. And no, I, I, and only, I tried. I only watch like a few episodes. Yeah, I don't watch and it it's fine for that. Like I'm not gonna like you turn on Bob's at Burgers and I'm out of here. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll watch it. But Bob's like I've tried to get through the first season like three times and I just can't fucking yeah. do it. Do you? Know, I, that was the other thing that got a renewal that I was surprised at was Legion. 
Yeah. You know, I, I still haven't even finished it. I mean, just, the second season, I have it. I just found it I so, love the first like, season so much. fucking boring. Oh, it I was loved just, it. No, second season. Second season, yeah. No, 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 no first weird. season I left. Second yeah. season, it was just like, oh They fucked God. that like, season up, and everybody is, is like, like, I understand, like, he's kind of like this mind, kind of yeah, like. It was just too like, out of there. Yeah, it was no too much. stakes. There's no, like. I couldn't find the plot. I was confused the whole time. Right. Like, and it, it was, I was like, okay, now you guys are trying to find this like, it, blue the sky. Of, yeah, and it was like, so weird. Chattering teeth, and I'm confused. Like, that was but, the thing. At the start, it was cool, right? When it was like, oh, it's a mind infection. Like, that was cool and creepy. and yeah. kind of a, But as soon as you got to about episode three or four, I and he lost. starts... Yeah, I was... I, I still haven't finished uh, season two. But, but it makes me wonder, maybe... And I doubt it, but maybe season two ends better because obviously it must have done okay if it got season I, three. I guess, but uh, yeah, I just I was surprised at that one. I mean, I'm happy because I I want to see if they maybe pull themselves back because it's not the first time a show has had like a good season and then fucked up, got another yeah. season and then did, did a good job. Yeah, because I can't remember what series is like that, but like every other season is good. Oh, um. No, she. I would just watch Shield. Shield's pretty decent all the way through. I've never watched Shield. Oh, I watched a few. I tried to watch it when uh, Ghost Rider the, the came thing, into the picture. Uh, see, and, and the uh, thing about and Shield guess is what? now he has his own. Uh, yeah, he got Hulu, his own Hulu Hulu series, and, and, and uh, it's gonna Hellstorm. be it's gonna be the guy from Shield. Is it gonna be? Yeah, that's, that's what, what they were wondering, and that's they, what were, they were saying because uh, I like it's my gonna be Robbie Ray. My parents. Supposedly. Well, is it gonna be the same actor though? I suppose they okay. say it's supposed so, to be because that's gonna be an important thing on Brandon because like the people who I know like they enjoy it right but they enjoy that character as or that actor as Ghost Rider yeah. and they would be disappointed yeah. to have to get used to someone new for the same character that they because know because we've already went through so, so many Ghost Riders with John uh, we only got two uh, I mean, so many Nicholas, that's about as many Nicholas Cage which if you think. if you count the fact that most of these characters have only ever been portrayed by one or two people it's average but Two is on the heavy just, side. Used to just one person portraying that person. Uh, I mean, so. even <laughs> Iron Man and Thor and Captain America have all been portrayed yeah, in the seventies. With um, with the Wolf. Wolf. Yep. No. one episode with Thor. One I've episode with that. Iron Man <laughs> and an episode with Cap. Yep, he got all his things, and we don't even talk about the Fantastic Four t- television series. I don't think that ever aired, though. Did no, it, it didn't uh, air, but they have it out. They just did a pilot episode. Yep, and didn't go through. Yep, and so the pilot's on terrible site. pilot. Oh, it's so bad the acting the acting they show it in uh what was it? Alamo Draft House is one of their don't uh have your phone out it's like Dr. Doom oh it's, oh, it's so bad dude it's on another level of terribleness like you you couldn't even imagine but yeah I'm happy for that I, like I said I was I'm not surprised on that like hell, Ghost Rider was popular and I mean they displayed him well yeah, I, I tried to watch a couple and it was good, but the thing about it Shield is because I was like, oh, what's going on? Well, yeah, you have to the fourth fucking season of a four I ongoing tried, though, show just to watch it for good. Yeah, you, you can't just. Do, I mean, any show. If you just hop into the Flash to watch fucking whatever hero just came out, you're just gonna go in and be like, I have no. It was fucking good. Though. Clue. It was good though, just to watch it though. For <laughs> like to see him is good, but like you said, you have no clue what's going on, so you don't get yeah. invested in the story. Granted. <clears throat> I mean, say this, pro- I'm pretty sure it probably brought more viewers though when they oh, oh, and then uh, they stood on and they probably just kept going through and yep. me I'm just one of those ones like, they got season oh, six you and like okay I'm yeah cool. and I got my ghost rider taste but it's like I said it's one of those things where it's like you're probably not gonna hop on to a series that's six in the middle and just start there and mm-hmm. go you know people don't just start Game of Thrones and say all right season eight let's start it and do it. They, uh... Now for your, but like you said, for the character, you're going in to see that character mm-hmm. displayed, and that's what I think Shield is good for. Like you may not enjoy Shield as a total story, like viewers. I think you will because you are knowledgeable about comics mm-hmm. and the amount of comic book shoutouts and characters that are actually handled in the series, such as the Absorbing Phil Man, Graviton. I mean, he's Coulson, he, he, but he got I he, mean, he came got to the comics from the movie. From the movie show, whereas right? there are other characters such as Quake who are the other yeah. way. Quake was originally a character that got brought in. You've got, like I said, you have Absorbing Man. You have. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shit, there are a bunch of them, honestly. But you have Absorbing Man, you have Graviton, you have uh, 
basically a bee man, but that's not really bee man. <laughs> no, but uh, it's definitely an interesting show, and like I said, it builds off of the universe of the movies. So like, if something happens, and that's what they—that's the other thing—is I didn't, and I haven't done this yet. I wanted to do it on this last viewing, I wasn't paying attention. But it's sequential with the movie. So, like, you can stop at an episode, watch the movie, watch the next episode, and shit will have changed according to the movie. Yeah, that's what I've, I've uh, heard about that one. However, it doesn't go the other way, usually. Mm-hmm. You don't... They don't pass upwards mm-hmm. because it's just too much. You know yeah, I mean? no, they're, 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 only, they're only expecting that the hardcore, more, well, more and, invested and, viewers and that want to th- involve themselves more I, into the Marvel. Even more, just think about it, like, and I've... I, I was watching the interviews the other day about the things and even reading some articles and stuff about Endgame in that, like, it is very much a cinematic phenomena in that there's no other franchise or film series out there like it at all. No, the closest... it's just, it's fun, they 22 movies just to build up to this right. one and, movie. And, like, oh and my so, gosh, like, like, hearing Chris Evans talk about Kevin Feige and saying, like, you know, watching him, you know, ask somebody to go outside and start shooting off fireworks years apart and then have them 10 years later all explode at once yeah. dancing and you know that's basically what they were doing with this like granted that's not as like interactive as all that but they worked really hard to make the universe coalesce you know what I mean and yeah. adding in the TV series on top of 22 movies with 22 episodes a season that's just too much information to keep consistent they already fuck up you know what I mean in the movies and in the show keeping con- con- uh, continuity yeah you have so many people involved you're just like there's bound to be somebody like oh damn I wrote something wrong and, uh, <laughs> I forgot I, what was I, it? I wrote that I can't remember I what it was I, I there was up. a big <laughs> right, there's even small stuff like uh, I remember there was a big like the internet was going crazy over one of the most recent Game of Thrones ones oh what the you talking about oh never mind. I was. I thought you were talking about the Starbucks thing yes oh, <laughs> I'm like, really? You're going all fucking crazy over a Starbucks. The thing, like, the thing, thing is, is like, like, I know, but like, you just, you just watching, the, just, I, I would imagine, like, I haven't watched Game of Thrones. I would just be like, okay, yeah, I'm watching Game of Thrones. Everything's supposed to be dragons and right, but that's like, your big. Comp- and they're like, damn, bro, Starbucks is in there. When did Starbucks get in the? No, I don't know. Starbucks been in the game a long time. <laughs> I have no idea. No, I. You know how people get no, I, I, I think I, I think it's just the funny thing is that I think they're just making fun of that nobody caught it. I'm like Right, but it's such a small thing. Anyone who's ever edited a video will tell yeah. you shit like that is easy as hell to miss because there, there's sometimes too I'll read a comic and I'll be like well, hold on, that way that doesn't make sense. Why did they why did they write that word? No, they should have wrote this instead. And, and, and they call it movie mistakes and other shit. But like the the big ones are like you can they'll have they have compilations of shit where mm-hmm. like something will happen on screen or a mistake will happen like that'll throw out of the sink. For example, the one they always do is like they'll fucking uh, put something on the car right, and then the and then the next scene the car will drive off, but the car didn't have anything on top of it. Oh, shit like yeah. that. Like it's such. Such no, movie. and you know, things sometimes that kind of does take people out the movie. You're like, right, well, hold on, that don't make no sense. Why did that? Yeah, but, <laughs> but in the grand scheme of things, a coffee cup being in oh, some. In here. Hey, what's up, Leo? Hey, Leo, how's it going, brother? Yeah, no, I understand what you mean, though. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of just so. Uh, Love the gift he had. Minuscule, you know, like minuscule, yeah, yeah. but. But it's important. Details are important. Yeah, and it, like you said, like I said, yeah, details are kind of important, you know, like, and it was such like. The thing too, like I looked at the scene, I'm like, there's really not a lot going on. It's just him, and then her, and then just that table, and then right there in the smack middle is the Starbucks. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, like they, I don't know, just like the actor I didn't seen catch it. it. I would see up. it. So I mean, yeah, you have to look, busy You kind of have to look at the scene. You'll be like. Yeah, that's kind of right there. You're just like, nobody. <laughs> like, I mean, uh, I'll have to check it out and see if it's really all that bad. Because um, it's right there in front of her, like, right there. And you, it's, like, you, obvious, like, you just could see it. Just, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just, it, like. I don't know. I felt like the ones that I saw when I was doing this. But it I saw, like, almost looked like It like was, like, off. Photoshop to me almost. Because it's, like, it's almost too unreal to be, like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I bet mean, I hadn't seen it live either. Yeah. So. No, I've never. Like, but yeah, I've watched Game of Thrones. So. I but yeah, with that know. Endgame thing, it's one of those ones like making those huge cinematic universes yeah. and keeping those details and incongruities from like 
coming up like I like you said this really is no nothing else the closest thing probably being Star Wars or one of the horror flick films or James Bond I mean yeah you could probably yeah just say but, and the horror films don't do a good job of like the, keeping up with their content not it's, even just continuity <laughs> but quality oh yeah and that, that was the other thing is Marvel yeah, movie quality yeah. has stayed at level the whole time you like Jason you've got one or you know <laughs> at the max out of those 22 movies in my head right now there's only two or three that I won't go back and I watch I probably never watched the first Thor I the really like the well, first Thor okay, I will no, watch the second I probably part. would go watch the yeah, cause just for one. the, no, the humor one. of his getting used to the you know what I mean yeah another that's the best part of Thor I would probably have to watch number one again one you know, but not I haven't two. seen one and, and the Wild Thor and I haven't I seen haven't, Captain America one in a long right time but that doesn't mean I wouldn't watch him again no that just means I think what it means is I've seen him so many times now I don't need to watch him. Like, I've seen Thor three or four times. I've seen Captain America one three or four times. Yeah. I probably don't need to probably watch Probably Iron Man 2 and... Yep, that one's also my other one. Thor Dark World is honestly... Those are the two out of my thing that I, I will say. Ones that I uh, what watch else again. you got? Um, that I wouldn't watch again. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Because, okay, we have Captain America and all his movies, and then we have Iron Man with all his movies. We just said Iron Man 2. Mm -hmm. Then we have Doctor Thor. Strange, but we like Doctor Strange. We like Black Panther. We liked all the Ant Mans. We liked the Guardians. We liked all the. I mean, did you like all the Avengers movies? For the most part, yeah. I mean, even Ultron. The, even Ultron, which had its faults, like, yeah. they wrote it well. It's yeah. how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Like, that was Ultron. Yeah. That really was. No, it was good. I, I, I enjoyed I, What I would have went with was not the moving mouth. Keep it yeah, it would be cool if they would have like the had, light, like, a right? light, yeah, like Vader or something, just, just to show you that it was you know moving the light flashing. Yeah. I don't know why. I think that that expressionless machine was just trying to is better. Better. I guess they better. well, like I understand why they did it. Yeah. But. I, like I said, I personally would have preferred Trying to make him closer to humanity. I guess kind of. Yeah, I know why they did it. Like, and it was to make sure one that he can be an expressive villain. And like, yeah. But I mean, yeah, because it's not really cool when you have a villain who just like with just the life. I don't know. Though, I guess, Vader but, kind of proves that wrong. But though. yeah. But that's Vader too, and you can't just assume your character is going to be. I mean, Vader. it's Vader and Vader, uh, Earth, uh, or sorry, uh, Earl Jones, or um, who was it? Because uh, Kevin Spacey. No, it was no. Kevin. Um, it was Kevin something. It's not Costner, is it? No, I don't remember. I don't know either. I'd have to look it up. It is like, yeah, that. all right, and Ultron probably don't watch again. <laughs> Iron Man 2, Cop 1, Probs not, Thor Dark World, nope. The university is deaf, highest quality. Oh, Game of Thrones. The, the shout out for the hat. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I love Cap 1. Cap 1 is such a good... I think, in my opinion, Cap 1 is one of the best war movies, even if just for the fact that they deal with the shit that doesn't go on in the war, that goes on stateside. They talk about the canning and the fucking people working, and, like, no one ever discusses that in war. That's it's always about again. shooting, like, and shit. And then he still had fight scenes, but, like, they, they made a point to talk about it. Like, not everyone was in the war, and they were still helping. Mm -hmm. They were at home you know, collecting cans and squashing shit down and, like, everybody was helping. And so in that way, I feel like it was one of the best mm -hmm. accuracy war movies. I, I felt like kind of towards, not the end, but, like, kind of towards their middle of their, you know, of all the movies they put out. But you'd watch, no, is oh. it Iron Man, Dark World, Kaplan? All right. He, he, he hit the big ones. For yeah. Me. Was like, man, yeah. Sure. And, uh, I thought I think that like right, kind of like I don't know, maybe towards the end of the movie, like their cycle of this, the phases that they were getting to, those are like one of the best things that they were you know putting out. I think. Honestly. Oh, certainly. Like, but like, to be honestly, fair, like had... sequels usually aren't supposed to be good. It's sequels just are just like a I cash feel... grab, you know. Like at that point, I think like, it depends on the one, right? Like, yeah. Some things are meant, right? And I think these were no, meant. No, 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 that's not saying these were meant. Yes. They should have sequels, and they some the sequels are good. Like, I love... Well, not second, just that. It's built... Batman. It's I built love, like a story. So. Like, if you started with all your best stuff, right, that would be it. That's the crescendo. That's not how storytelling works. You start low, build, <coughs> drop, build, drop. That's how any story, music, song, whatever works. It's up and down. Modulation, oscillation, up and down, vibrations, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. But the more important part being, like you said, that it has to ramp up. Mm -hmm. And that's really hard over 22 movies in 10 years. Like, But at the same time, one thing I have to think is, well, there are a couple things. One, like the actors are doing it longer. 
these yeah. no there are no roles where an actor stays on that role that long they, 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 they like write a contract to be like you have to stay as this person well and it's for, not just like yeah it's that but it's like it's how I'm, fast Right, yeah. all these movies are never more than a year out. Oh yeah, I mean, like, yeah, you're just like, damn, an, uh, another, another movie's, movie's out. out. God damn, yeah, Marvel, God yeah, damn, though. But like with the the stuff like that, they're really getting into these characters, and they even talked about it in the interviews. Not only did they get into the or do they get into character, they get into the character as in they put pieces of themselves into mm-hmm. the character. Their character on screen starts to become more like them much in the way they become more like their character when they're acting. And so, like, you see that with Thor and... Really, with Iron Man. I, I, really I feel like that was just a pick. Because he just... That was just a cast fit. I don't that think just he like changed perfect, it all. Yeah, he's like, he's not right? acting. He's just changing just his name him. from Robert Downey Jr. to Tony Stark <laughs> when in his head. He's just like, yeah, I'm just... Yeah, I just have it sent to my house. I'll just go pick up my giant weapons. And, <laughs> like, I feel like that's how he's... He's just like, did it. It's like, no, man, this is every day for me. Whereas, like, uh, characters like, like I said, uh, Hemsworth and Thor, like, especially by the third movie when he's actually... Oh, no, yeah, the third movie was the best one he did. I loved it. Oh, yeah. I love... Yeah, I really got, like, really, like, he took that role to, like... it's, It's funny, they all arc up really well, except for Iron Man 1 being the probably the best Iron Man the oh, third movie is pretty much when I watched that movie like you know cause you know again that was a time when I wasn't really like a, I love movies but I wasn't like a hardcore movie goer and that was yeah that was one of those ones where like damn they can do a superhero movie and like a good one like just like a character you know I never really cared for honestly right too. and I think that was important is like even before no, like, I knew like, about Iron Man but I didn't give a shit about like I, I and I knew about Iron Man like I knew about Devil in the Bottle and all now, his problems now I feel like he's on top like with Spider-Man oh yeah he's now. Spider-Man and Hulk and Captain America kind of got pulled back up there too because while Cap was originally one of the I All-Stars I didn't really care for him either well yeah but that's because it's been 40 years since the last time he was in a war yeah no, but the one that really made me like it like him a lot more was when he did uh they did um not civil war it, oh, was winter it civil soldier war? yeah winter soldier it meant winter soldier is really cool because that's that i really liked captain america at that point then i was like okay having said that i still think civil war is the best captain america i feel like it's good it just is because you have that huge come, it was the first huge come together. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's, that's another one too. Yeah, that kind of was like really like okay, you're seeing, you're like, seeing these other, pieces really connecting because now. Because in and, other movies you would see people right, you would catch flashes of like Evans in a Thor movie right, and yeah. like he'd be like oh, or they just to talk talk about them or something. Oh yeah, or even I mean, like what? Well, it's like first? Loki. Loki pretends to be Evans in like two or one, yeah. and then but you would get these little flashes mm-hmm. right. Black Widow would show up here. But unless it was the Avengers, you weren't getting everybody. Civil War is like the first time you get e- and you get everybody yeah. even beyond the Avengers, which is insanity. You know what I mean? And so I feel like that's why it goes ahead for me. It just has so much epic stuff. Even though probably the story and plot line of uh, Winter Soldier might be a little better. Like, I don't know. It's an up and down one for me on that one. I just like the action was done well. The action's good. The uh, the emotional content's there. Like yeah. with Bucky and stuff, mm-hmm. it's there. I feel like some of the stuff that kind of went down was like the story stuff. Like I felt like there was no big threat. You know what I mean? They had, and like by the time you figure out it's Red Skull, the impact doesn't matter. Was it Red Skull? Or, that was a uh, no, Baron, Baron Zemo. I thought. I don't remember. It was one of them. It was no, oh, Zemo's from Civil War. Was he in Civil War? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. No, because, yeah, he was at the... Ver- yep, I remember. And I'm trying to remember... Uh, uh, yeah, you're right. No, 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 none of that, but I'm trying to remember the name of the guy who's uh, the Red Skull's pretending to be. The agent. Remember, like, the, the lead See, agent. I gotta watch guy. all movies again. You gotta go watch. I went back and watched all of them before... Uh, before watching Endgame and then again that's a lot of of movies to watch I gotta go back and watch Endgame again too (laughs) it is I mean it is it isn't like I also fast track them like if there's any part I find boring or Uh, like (laughs) just (laughs) fast yep Uh, yeah I don't give a shit I do that to shows too if I'm not like feeling them so like that Black Summer oh yeah you told me about that yeah 
because there's literally 20 minutes of these build up situations where I'm like you just don't care no I, 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 literally <laughs> the build up's gone like build up is no more than 20-30 seconds if you've gone past that I'm no longer tense I'm I've no had, longer tense I've had time to get used to my new position like this and I'm like alright what's next cool am I good I'm supposed to all right, you're not doing anything. And then I'm not even looking at the screen when it's not happening. <laughs> I'm like, oh, now something popped out that, and I didn't even that know. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. They're, they're just talking. They're just talking. They're they're just just, talking. They're, oh, no, it's just happening. They're, they're going to keep talking for another five minutes. And then, oh, and then something just happened right when he just was about to say something. <laughs> it's like, I was waiting so long. All right. Um, come on, IMDB. Tell me what I want to know. I can't believe they changed it. All right, Chris Evans, here I like. Robert Redford. This guy. <laughs> Which is actually a comic book character, too. Or no, Alexander Pierce. Robert Redford is who plays Ooh, him. I kind of remember, yeah. Like, so, gotta, so they had Pierce. Got to watch these over again. No, it wasn't Red Skull. Is it just Pierce? It must just be Pierce. He yeah. must not be anybody else. Because Skull disappears at the end of yeah, the first Yeah, it was the first track. one, and then you never see him again until... Um, Infinity War. Yeah, Infinity War. But that's uh, that's just the way it is, and then you see him again, again, and uh, again in Spider Man. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I can't be spoiling anything. Uh, I want to do another review on Endgame, but I have to go watch it again so I can get another critical like take where I'm not like just fanning out. And, like I gotta let it set. I never let my first viewing of a movie decide how good it is. Yeah, because that's those first view. It was like beginner's luck shit. like, you might have missed something that was really bad. Did you see Howard time. the Duck? I didn't. I missed him. Yeah, he was in there. I did see later when they posted the fucking screenshots, but he's so small. He's like, he's like a Starbucks but cup. But still, it's just to say, like, damn, Howard the Duck was in there. <laughs> All kinds of people. They had, they had everyone. I love that, too. It was like, when uh, when you when you brought everyone, but they still wanted the Defenders, the other <laughs> agents and shit. I was yeah. like, you were never getting them in that. That would have been dope, though, in that scene to just bring them on. Especially if you... Did you like the... Kind of like that the, the girl scene? With like all the that little kind of like that Easter I, egg. I don't know if it's an Easter egg people, as much as a, a lot of people were hyped up for that one. That one I little hype. I feel like that one would be a contentious one. A lot, even like, like a lot of a lot of uh, issues went up because of that one. Which is a, a force. Oh well, I can see the a force stuff. Yeah, because that's a lot. There's just so there. much many more girls there though than the original a force. Like, no, I'm, no, I'm just saying that they they just people are like, damn, they should do. It. Uh, a for uh, you know that they would it. get some they'd get they'd, some stuff I mean, they're gonna it's a Marvel them. movie let's be honest I don't think Marvel can put out a movie right now that's not gonna make 600,000 to a million dollars yes yeah. let's just be or uh, to a bit 600 million to a billion dollars sorry let me rephrase that fucking shit up oh can't be low ball on Marvel and then um well, I guess another thing that the Disney came out with was that uh, in 2022 that they will start doing Star Wars movies again well, they had already... They said they were going to take a hiatus. Um, so, yeah, they won't start another three movies until another... Yeah. Was that three years now from now? I mean, I guess yeah. the hiatus is news, but they'd already been planning on doing more Star Wars films. Now we just have to wait longer. And I'm honestly glad for it. I really hope they leave the Star Wars shit... Or the Skywalker shit alone and pick well, another I piece of the universe. Well, I think that's what they said. Yeah, this is the actual finally <laughs> ending of the, the whole Skywalker family. Which now. is good, because... It's a good part of the universe, right? Yeah. That is a really good part. It birthed the universe. It was an amazing story. I don't think that's the best story from the Star Wars mythology. Not even close to the best story. Darth Plagueis is more interesting. Darth Malak is more interesting. Riven is more... The thing or, is that these things all came... These weren't even uh, Darth Lucas's ideas. It doesn't matter, though. These were just they were just good ideas yeah, in good his ideas. universe. Because he built the universe. He built an expansive list of races and histories mm -hmm. and stuff. Because there's books, if you go and check them out, written even by Lucas. He has a couple. But most of the EU is written outside of it but they always had to get submitted approval from Star Wars yeah granted Star Wars basically looked at it said if it didn't have any canon 
issues that you could put that shit out. They yeah, did not that's, care. And that's usually yeah what they would do because it had <laughs> really didn't talk about any of the movies or if you no, read some of the because stuff. the universe is so big you don't yeah. need to all the I mean they would talk about some of the characters right but it would always be before or after the movie. And even then, only to certain extents. Like but I said, do you, think, do, you, do you really want them to do movies on like things that have been done in the books? Oh stuff? hell yeah! Or do you want them to do like brand new things? Honestly, that have never been I done have. Before? Honestly, the last three movies have not given me faith that they're very good at that. Like they're fine, but they're not even as good as the original yeah. trilogy, in my opinion. Like honestly, they're about on par with the second set of three new movies, which is. Okay, you had one really shit one, a medium one, and then an excellent one. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah, that's how, that's how I feel like. Right. The first Whereas the original three, you have a medium one, a medium one, and a good, excellent one. Yeah, the last one was my favorite one. Yeah. And the per- first the two aren't second good. Second one, I would say. It was I like, like it. First Most one, I love because it was like something different to me, but yeah. then. Second one, I don't know what I didn't like about the second. I have to watch second one, again. usually people don't like it because the villains win, which is Star Wars. I think that's what it was. Tradition. It was that, and then there's other stuff in that one that are like just up and like down, but. like I watched some of the things. I'm like, damn, that was kind of what, that was dumb. Why did they do that? There's but some like, mistakes. When they went Bubba sure. Fett, like you know, kind of like just I don't know when he hits that thing all stupid. Is that the second one where they're where, where they're, they're fighting on the sand pits? Yeah, yeah. That was the most. Oh my god. He so shoots him with like something to make. But, him and fall. then he like I don't know. He just gets all blown off, all stupid, like in the corner. I don't know. I mean, just that's seven every seven scene. Effects, every but... scene with them though is just like. I mean, it's so funny. what's funny though, though like I know that's what's funny though, like, loves like he man. became this phenomenal character and he literally had like, like what two lines, <laughs> like two lines. That's and literally like, like, he's like, oh there's my, something I came for you oh my, or where's my oh money and that's about it. it that's just all that he says. It was just such a cool design that people are like, I really like that guy. He's um, I mean, the thing is, throughout the two movies, he's he does good stuff. He's about there. He's badass. And then the comic books, like he does cool stuff. Like he comes out of the pit. He escapes the Sarlacc pit in the book. See, they had to write that you. in. They're like, we can't do that to him, bro. That was that was such a that was such a system. Right, so, which is so <laughs> funny to me because, like, like you said, there's really nothing that makes him so badass except for the fact that he kind of gets the drop on Han. The same thing too when they did the new ones when he was back then. He just got his head. <laughs> well, that to be fair, that one's uh, the original. Oh, effect. that wasn't even him. Yeah, that was Jango Fett. Yeah, right? that's yeah. his dad. Okay, and that well, but which, they see again though in the, in the same family. They ain't very good. <laughs> I mean, he's facing the Jedi, to yeah. be fair. And that being my, the bigger point, too, is like, he's I just a thought, too, hunter. I thought they would have made Well, that was the other one, too, I forgot. Is, oh, did they? I can't remember if they cut that from the movie, was it in the hmm. movie, or it was in the comic, but like, Bofet kills all the other assassins that are sent out to get those guys. He's not the yeah, only one who gets sent, he just kills movie. everybody else. Mm-hmm. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. But I mean,. The same could be said in similar ways for people like Darth Maul. The yeah, best scene that Darth Maul that's... has is is the one fight where, he, or maybe two fights where he's fighting the two Jedi's, mm-hmm. which one's a Jedi Master and one's an apprentice. So I mean, that's cool, but you can slaughter as many younglings as you want. I'm not impressed, Anakin. No, um, and his big his big feat being beating Qui Gon Jinn, who's considered one of the strongest. But what was it? I hated that fight though. That whole fight. Oh was yeah, bullshit. the felt's not very good. That, that that like if he like was such just... if he was such a you know good jet, they should have made that that fight seem such more like. But I don't know. I, my big thing is isn't even that like. And then they, they show and Darth they... Maul as being this character who is like yes, Darth Maul is supposed to be supposed original to be evil well it's evil but he's supposed to be powerful he's supposed to be he's the last that's of another the... thing that I didn't like that they made him out to be such this part and then at the very end they're just like right that's my problem by the is... paddle one <laughs> yeah right and that's my problem and, and, that and, and the said... master couldn't even do it I'm like mm-hmm. right not, not even just the master him and the master together couldn't do it oh but that's then, not yeah but then thing. when he let into his rage which is what you're not supposed to do as a Jedi master he beats him so and and the funny thing is like well actually no some of that stuff is pre uh pre that movie but some of the other things they'll like 
So, like, they designed the lightsaber styles and stuff in the EU. They designed, like, all kinds oh, of Oh, no, I've seen those, too, before. I like, I've, I've liked reading some more of the... Hit. See, that's another thing that I don't really like that the movies didn't do, is that they they kind of just throw your, your ass in here and just, like, okay, there's these Jedis, they, I mean, they do the Force, they do this, they fight these guys, so much- and there's this one, there's just always this one empire that's always just trying to, trying to, F everything up, and they just try to stop them. And then, yeah, I mean, but that's but the then, like, of the film. I know, I know that, but I'm just saying, like, they never like go more and more into that. I would love if they go more into the history, of right? That. But how are they supposed to do that in an hour and a half, two hour long movie? They make a different movie where it's just about. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Star Wars Anthology series <laughs> coming to uh, to fucking Discovery uh, Channel. Uh, what? No, no, uh, just um, fucking a, a three a three four hour fucking part series. I just want just history the of the Republic. Gungans. That's all I want. Just I history the of the fucking Gungans. That's what I want now. It's like a three part four hour documentary. I want, I want a three hour documentary about yo this people. <laughs> What are they even called? <laughs> what are they even called? Damn it! No, but I mean, stuff is covered. Like, that's I know. That's 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 all that stuff. Like, people took that universe, and that's why, even though Marvel, and the, that's the only reason Marvel and them are really even comparable sometimes, is like, they are. They're universes. These aren't just oh, yeah. stories. Like, sometimes they're stories, right? Like, John Carter, right? And even that's like its own universe. Oh, uh, it's, I it's I a movie. That movie on right, Netflix right. And day. it's a comic book, too, or something, or a story, yeah. or God knows what. They were it's supposed a to make story. a second one, right? Yeah, they were. I don't know if they ever did. Um, But the point being, like, that's a story, right? That has a narrative, and it's built in a universe, and it has, like, this stuff. But it's really not a universe, because it's not fleshed out. It's so small. You know what I mean? It's, it's, It's only covers so many aspects. Whereas when you get to Star Wars... If people ask the question, somebody went out and answered it or thought of the answer yeah. and said, this is what I think the answer is, and Star Wars said yes or okay. And same for, uh, actually, oh, that's a good transition, uh, Tolkien. I got some of these shots for the Tolkien movie coming out. Oh, I wanted to go see it. I want to go see it, too. It actually he, looks really uh, good. I guess his son finished one of his books, a book that he had Yeah, it really, also the family has officially uh, disavowed this movie. Oh, they don't like the movie? Nope. Why? I don't they, know. They don't like that they it portrays say. him? I or? don't remember. Yeah. I can't remember what it was they had said, but they. I just remember they had officially so... disavowed the movie. Wait, he's so, they, then don't they have to approve it he's first? So, it's so old, they don't have to anymore. It's from oh, the 20s. So. It's pre-trademark recognition revised. Uh-huh. So he only got till his death in the 1950s and then another 60, 70 years. Yeah, because then after that, your license. Today. Now, they changed oh, it. Oh, damn. So that's kind of messed up. They did. They like, waited until it was damn, off and then did it. They couldn't even just wait a few more years after the date. They're like, no, we're going to release it right no, after I think the they date. did or they could have sued him. I think they waited until after the date. Cause, yeah, this is 25 years. So... Cause yeah, because I understand. Yeah, because if you, if they don't do anything with like his stuff, then the license. Well, I live in regards it's like it's the copyright law states in America at the time that that stuff was made that you could that what you created would remain yours through your lifetime, and then would remain yours for seventy years after your death to provide for your family. Mm-hmm. At which point it would move into the public domain. Mm. They made changes in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s that would provisionally make songs made later have longer extension times. So they upped it to like 90 years. And before it wasn't even, it was like your life plus 25 years mm-hmm. or something. But he's been gone so long, and because his stuff, especially the, the books, which is really what yeah. they're going to be talking about, not the movies, because he wasn't around for those. Uh, but the mo- the books, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I don't even seen remember. That this how is more I... about his life and him writing these books, right? And about, it looks right? so cool. And the trailer, if you've seen it, it looks like we're gonna change the mu- the world together. Art, music, philosophy. It was like, all right, I mean, this is cool. It got the good music, and then they get like drafted to war or some shit. Yeah, my my uh, my go- uh, friend from work who reads uh, he reads a lot of books. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he read a lot of token stuff. And I guess the way he explained to me is that it's kind of just 
It's just a bunch of like hodgepodge. Not like hodgepodge, but like just a bunch of it's a scratch. bunch of yeah. It's a bunch of scratch stretch. It's a, it's basically it's not like a co- it's not a cohesive like some kind of, of it a is. little bit, but the, he he comes back. The simulacrum is is usually what people are talking about when they talk about that, and that's literally just his collection of notes yeah. on his universe of of the Tolkien. Yeah, because I I guess he said that he just never. It, it wasn't meant to. These were details. That, that's these what were it was. writing details. That's what it was. Yeah, he yeah said they were that meant they, to yeah. be published as and they a got book. Published and they well, they were published of... as a collection, and that's what people forget. This is the Sima Sulcrum. What it, it isn't a story. It's like a history book. It's like a narrative. It's like going, and even less, is, it would be like a storyteller's book. Mm-hmm. You know, like back in the day when they would sit around the story and tell like the tales of Humbar the Great from this land back when the Norsemen rode fucking giant Yeah, it's kind of like King Arthur kind of, well, yes, yeah, like, no, yeah, very very much right, like that. the round table where, they where would just tell a story. And that's and... basically what he, and that's what it is, is that that is not a, it, basically what it really is, is a collection of poems. If you've okay. ever actually read it, it's it, like there's inner stuff cut in and like other scratch scratch added notes, drawings and shit. But it's like a giant collection of poems and like elvish language stuff and Middle Earthen language. So like he built a universe. He built. He wrote his own language. Mm-hmm. He, he decided to, and it's really not all that hard, especially because he didn't like come up with his own phon- like phonetically based language. Like many language is cool, but that's not the same as like having your own well actually writing is the one having your own form of writing not stylized after something else is like intense there's like, only like uh, two groups who've ever done it did, uh, when they do the predator stuff like you yes you can't believe how the people like I don't understand how they came up with that like people are just like oh fuck it we, we're just gonna make up the language for it like we've seen the symbols we're gonna make up our whole this is A this is B this is C he to be was, fair, some of them are languages. I know, like you guys. Futurama was famous. <laughs> Futurama was famous for that. They made that alien language, yeah. and they had to remake it three times because people kept figuring it out. Ah, and they would keep changing the language notes until they could, like three times. I mean, obviously they're not still changing. I just find it, that but... amazing, though. Like you know that, and then like you know uh, Klingon. Like yeah, that's it's crazy, crazy too. Like people are they can speak it, and like people are actually understanding what you're saying to them. Right, but I mean, it's no different than uh, what the, what the fuck are the the stupid ones? But no, I just find it amazing that you know from people's fandoms. You know, right, these that, things have been built, and, and it's, it's not that they they had to do this; they had to come up no, with language to speak to. to each other. It's more of just like, hey, bro, I like this shit. You like this shit. Let's 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 make a language, bro. You think, bro? Bro. <laughs> bro, like, bro, bro, no, but it really is, and it. I, I think it's so amazing the amount of stuff that gets inspired by these fandoms and why they're so important. Like people are often like, oh, well, superhero movies don't matter. Or, like Cameron, even he was like, uh, oh, he did, shit. he dissed. That was like, what was that? Two years ago, year. Yeah, he did. He, he, like, he said something about, oh, they're gonna be like the Wild Wild West. I mean, which you kind of were. The remember Wild Wild West movies were the thing back in the day. Oh yeah, they, they kind of. Just, yeah, but that was. But he, but the thing is, like, you can't really compare. They're not that comparable to, because yeah. Wild West fell out of style because of technology. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah, more than anything, really, more than people, if you replace Wild the Wild Wild West format, you have modern action. I, movies. I went from shooting uh, gunslingers to CGI dinosaurs in my face. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, even beyond that, like they say, oh well, the Wild West is bruh, only in the fact that it's the Wild West. If you took everything else that made a Wild Western a Wild Western, you'd have an action movie, a modern day action movie. You have the hostage crisis. A modern day action movies are based off of fucking westerns because they had the stakes, they had the action. No other comedy, drama, that bullcrap didn't matter because back then it didn't exist no, when it films was, first came out. No, then when you watch western, yeah, they're very serious. They're very right, and th- because that was they they're, were the first action. There movie. may be comedy in their own kind of way. Oh yeah, I like, mean they had it, there was, it was, but it was like in a way that like oh that's kind of. That's a little ruthless. <laughs> but it was comedy in their way, so, you know, but... And so people are always like, oh, the Western's dead, but it didn't. It just changed. It yeah. stopped being about the Old West. Because, realistically, the films from that time, there are no action films. There are Westerns. Mm. That's it. And then just really good uh, storytelling. Yeah, you had sci-fi and fantasy, but oh, those and then aren't... Horror, yeah. Well, yeah, no, but, well, but yeah, those yeah, aren't horror. action films. No. Those are genre defining. Those are horror films. Those are science fiction mm-hmm. or fantasy. Action films are basically dis- displayed by the fact that they're all about the action. Yeah. And that's what a Western was about. 
It wasn't about rustling the cow folks or things. It was about the shootouts. It was about the hostages laying her down on the tracks. You know what I people mean? can you gunsling? <laughs> you know what I mean? Take all of your classic action tropes and you basically trace them back to a western. Yeah. And so it's like, all right, the western's dead. No, the western evolved to the modern day. The western, instead of becoming about the old western, because that was what it about it was the west. <laughs> it really did. It's like, all right, now we got machine guns and airplanes and well, tanks. We can and do shit. a lot more now. And that's what people forget too. Where did it go after westerns? War movies. Yeah, war movies was the thing after that. And then after you Same got thing, past, I mean, yeah, with comics too, they went with war stuff too for a while. Mm-hmm. And then after the war was done, then they went more more towards the science fiction than space. Fantasy, and space and because space was the thing after the war. Yep, after the war it was then space. Then you had a bunch of space movies and action in space. Which was, like I said, science fiction and action movies aren't always the same, right? Science yeah. fiction, you have people typing at a desk. I mean, and, Star Wars was right in the 70s, right? That's yep. when, And then you have Alien right in the 70s. And the 80s, which then and you then come you up on. And Star Trek right in the, the 60s, 70s, right? 60s, 60s, yep. <laughs> so it really is. It goes right from westerns to army stuff all the way from, like, 40s through the 60s. And now we're in the superhero. <laughs> yep. uh, and even it's in between, kind of fun if you look it at it funny, that way, though. between superheroes uh, and uh, um, space, we had... Uh, robots. Yeah, I robots guess you could and say technology. Robots, you had like technology, yeah. Terminator. Yeah. You had, uh, and it yeah, really yeah, was yeah. about science, right? It was more about that the f- launch the future, in the future, right? Yeah. A future launch space, but like, and then you had the 90s, which was just dark chaos. <laughs> Even less dark, it was just chaos, dude. I don't know why. All right, right, let's check. So I want to. Ch- I want to check something. Even beyond dark, let's see. Top movies. So, everything was so. Nineteen ninety five. Everything was great. Even the comics were dark. And okay, everything. so nineteen ninety five, we have top movies: Toy Story, Braveheart, Matrix Seven. Yep. Apollo 13 Jurassic Park Heist Casino 12 Monkeys The Usual Suspect Chainless Comedy Die Hard with a Vengeance Dust Till Dawn Dust Till Dawn and this is actually the era when real action movies start I would uh, say 12 Reservoir Dogs 80s and 90s yep uh let's see Golden Eye Batman I guess Batman that, so that's this is Batman where it was dark too because Tim Burton yep. was kind of yeah, yeah. yeah he was dark on it which is funny is like who, do you know who directed Tim Burton's A Nightmare Before Christmas who, who was not him he didn't no. it. oh he did it no it's it's written by Tim Burton oh, but it's not directed I didn't it? know this until recently I directed it I don't know let's look uh, who directed it and he came up with all the things and then they yeah he wrote the script and I was there. He's like, okay, direct yep, this. Do bitch. this. Make this bitch. <laughs> I ain't doing it. Henry Selick. Yo, okay. Which makes sense because he's a stop motion director. Oh, okay. And producer. That makes sense then why he would. Do why that. he would, yeah. Because he would know how the claymation needs to be expressed in acting. You know what I mean? Whereas usually that's the director's job is to make sure the actor's mm-hmm. acting. But yeah, now that you think about though, you kind of go through those eras, and now we're kind of in this superhero. But the thing is, too, like my like, really, do you think like this train, like with this, how many superhero movies they've been pumping out? Do you think like it will last forever? Forever? Like, Hell no. Or that's not. Yeah, like, do you think there will be an eventual stop? There, like, okay, guys, I think everyone is really just fatigued. All right, let me look at something real quick. I, I want to see something. Like. Do you, do you have like an expiration date for like when superhero movies will well, I wanna, be like I wanna not check popular something. anymore? I guess that depends on what you mean, right? So you're asking, do I think it's going to continue? No, because we're at basically what is the peak, right? Unless something crazy big it's comes along the, after and this. And the thing is, like, they're just, they have so many more things planned. They're like, now we're on phase five now, right? Guys. But, but the thing is, that phase, like, it's brand how new. How many start. phases are you going right. to go through? Is this forever? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, damn, how many phases are going to go through? And so it's like, okay, guys. And, so, and that's what I'm saying. Done. Realistically, we're at the epoch, right? This is. The, at either the middle of or the start of the high point. Okay. This is where okay. yeah. superhero, like, before it was the lead up. Like, don't yeah. get me wrong, we've been having movies, but if you consider, at, like, genre, right? If you consider, like, how many horror movies do we get every year? Oh, sh- there's so much. Ten, minimum. And then sometimes there'll be one, like, okay, one that defines the genre. Right, and that's the like... thing. You'll get a couple good ones, but you get a horror movie, yeah. or several horror movies, 
every single year, like clockwork. Same with action movies. Same with the suspense movie and the, you know the and the there's there are movies that run in and out like the Nazi movie. The uh, thing or is though, the will like then will superhero movies just be like that? Then will yes. it just be like now another movie? You're like okay, yep. now it's just it's like, another superhero movie. And then, like, and then you'll get a good superhero movie, right? The exciting superhero movie that oh man, I haven't seen something like. That, that, that does this in a while I now I could see that but that was what it'll be eventually right that's not saying it'll be that right now now do I think that's within 10 years it might be man like we've been in the I think we've it's already been 10 years now with all this <laughs> yeah but that's the birth so of a genre 10 years it'll be 20 years now with that and then... yeah. but that's really the birth of genre if you consider that superheroes genre really started in 2008 with the birth of Iron Man like there were movies before, but they weren't popping. No, like, a couple of years. Yeah, like they were very terrible. Yeah, movies. they would be considered an off. Uh, and I consider Blade to be the one that really, honestly, set the whole thing off. I think because it was really successful when it came out. Yeah, but and a lot of but people, it didn't spark movies that were then successful. Yeah. it didn't jumpstart. Now, was Blade was the first example of this is proof that a superhero movie no, that's, um, can sure, be yeah. but it didn't start the send the genre running oh no because right? it took us still a little while because I was like what 1999 right that came and out? in the same way that and, like, like, Star Iron Man Trek. didn't come out till 2008 that's right so it was another 10 years of building into but a then point. it at least at least put that stepping stone to say okay it no, did and there are, and that is this. and if you talk about it, that is probably the conception stage of the superhero ages between that and Iron Man. Like, maybe, between that and Iron Man, you have Spider Man, you have Spider Man, Punisher, Hulk. you have Fantastic Four, you have all these movies kind of nestled in. Right, they the weren't same very time. great, but they were still with you the know, exception of Spider Man. No, oh, no, yeah, yeah, Spider Man was very good. Yeah, oh, but yeah. once again, was so long between movies and was such an outlier that it was not yet. A genre, like it wasn't fully developed. It hadn't come into its own. Iron Man is really where the genre comes into its own, and fucked up part is only for Marvel. <laughs> That's not true because then you have the Black, the Dark Knight, right, which is also in that same area of time. Yeah, because of the birth of superhero movies, and also helps set the tone so much. I mean, yeah, you can say too the Batman movies from the nineties. Well, not even the nineties. They didn't do that well. And they didn't spark. I, I, I still love my Michael Keaton. They're Batman good, for, but like I said, they don't spark oh, no, 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 the no. genre. I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, they're just there, you know. Right? Like, they're okay. they're examples of like this is a film, and they weren't all that successful. Like they were fine, but they weren't monetarily all that successful, which is why they didn't make more um, or sequels, etc., stuff like that. But like you said, right around when Blade comes out is the first time where the superhero movies start to actually get made consistently. Not with a great like amount. Yeah. But consistently. You could pretty or much count the on grand a superhero. Day, grandeur of the... Right. Now we yeah. get three superhero movies to five superhero movies a year. Depending on which... So we got Captain DC. Marvel this year, Spider-Man this year, Endgame this year... Uh, what did we get from DC this year? Joker. Oh, Shaz oh Shaz no, Shazam, Joker. That's already five. I feel like we're missing one. Let's see. No, I think that's it. Yeah, it's five superhero movies for this year. I think. Yep. In game, Far From Home, Glass, technically Hellboy. Yeah, I guess he said Glass. Brightburn. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Gambit. Yeah, I don't think that's even the same one. Yeah, and then these are all animated. But yeah, when you consider that now we will get a minimum of four to five comic book movies a year, and I, for the last four or five years, I guarantee you can go back and probably check that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like you know, do you think people will get a fatigue? You know, like how I well, how, how like sometimes I said, comic what, book will get fatigue. Now how I am like I said, what do you mean by that? Do you mean like, they're gonna stop watching Super? Like what do you mean? Like, because anybody's gonna like it's gonna get fatigued over anything. You can't watch the same thing over and over again. That's what I'm saying. Like if they, like after a while, you think people are gonna get bored of superhero movies. Are you bored of horror movies? Mm, not me, not in general. But I'm saying maybe there is people out there. I mean, maybe like, they are. But like are people in more. general done with horror movies? Did you, did your parents watch horror movies from time no, to time? No, they don't. Mind you. Yeah, they don't like horror movies. <laughs> oh, that's different, though. They don't like horror movies, so they don't watch horror movies. That's not the same. That's like that's like saying, well, I don't like, you know, this. So I'm, I'm actually kind popular. of like part of the few people that actually like horror um, movies in my family a lot. Uh, I'm probably like 
only 10% of us like horror movies. Right. And so, and so that's and, just not a good example. They don't like it, period, whether or not they got tired. They didn't yeah. get tired of it, right? They just don't like it. That's different. Yeah, there's times, though, I will, like, I'm like, damn, don't want to watch some more horror movies. Then I will switch it up, though, and I'll, just, I'll, I'll watch a comedy after a while. And then there's times, like, damn, okay, I'm over comedies now. <laughs> right, and so that's I what I mean. What do you mean they get sick of it? Nobody watches the same thing over and over again. Nobody watches all con- And if you do, you're probably a really fucked up person. Yeah. Like, in the head. Something's probably wrong with you. All you do is watch comedy, or all you do is watch tragedy, or all you do is watch action films. Like, there's probably something wrong with you. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you need to experience a full range of human emotions and, like, interactions. Because... Nobody gets like that's why there are phases, right? You have fads of where the Holocaust movies are big, and then you will get them for that. Well, that's what I'm trying to say too. Will this just be another fad, and then that'll no, be this it. is so this is a genre. Will just kind of fade away, no. and that'll be it. This is already a genre, and that's what I'm saying. Like, what if you mean the, to fade away? Then no, these will be in films from now until the day you die. There will be a superhero film in theaters. I can almost guarantee you. But will there be? five, six excellent films out. No, probably not. There'll probably be two or three crap films, two or three medium films, two or three good films, and then one really good film. Mm -hmm. Just like the horror genre. Just like the action genre. Just like any other genre. So Before... You know, uh, the last three or four years with the with Black Panther, Strange, Avengers, Infinity War and stuff, I might have said, like, you know, maybe they will fade back away. Like, they've been a big... But the impact isn't long lasting. But that's not the case. These, these, uh, in the way that film had built itself originally, these characters are built into people's lives. Mm hmm. Because it's not a one-time thing. You didn't see this when you were three years old and then never see the character again until yeah. you're 20 when the, when the 20 year reunion or whatever comes back. No, some people have grown up from the time they could speak knowing about these characters and being a part of, their every year lives not every day but every year into the point that like I have the little friend oh he's around talking to me he's like yeah man and then I got into comics after that and started reading shit or maybe like just reading up on comics not reading comics mm-hmm. but to the point like I said like these kids who are 17, 18 now are love these characters who 20 years ago they would wouldn't have known you know what I mean or 20 years ago wouldn't have been known like Iron Man and like Drax or Star Lord you know what I mean? They are integral parts of people's lives, not because they've been introduced, but because they're consistent. Mm-hmm. Over 10 years, you get to know these characters and experience emotional turmoil and life events, and they grow older, and you grow older, and you learn, and they learn. And like the one uh, person who was telling me, they're like, I rem- it was, uh, or not telling me, I was watching the interview and they were telling them, they were like, you know, uh, it was Scarlett Johansson. She's like, I had this little girl come up to me, and she she was like, you know, I, I started watching you when you came out in the first, uh, or the second Iron Man, when you first showed up for the first time, and you were such a strong impact on my life as, a, like, growing up. And she's like, and now she's a young woman. She's 16, and she's grown up with these movies and characters affecting her life and the way she thinks and how she feels and the memories she makes. And that's it's crazy when you think about it. Like, name another film series where you have memories like that. Like, that you could go back and say, all right, it was, well, like, I could tell you where I was for the first Infinity War showing that I saw. And the second one, what, what happened. I could tell you, you know, who I went to see Doctor Strange with. And I, I could probably even look it up and find a little date for you. I didn't tell you when the fuck I saw the last goddamn Star Wars. Like, I know it, and I know the thing, but who did I go with the last Star Wars movies with? Probably you. Do you remember? I don't really remember, because even though Star Wars even is a big part of my life, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm a, I consider myself a Star Wars nerd to an extent. Not the biggest Star Wars. No. They're, they're a huge no, no, Star no, Wars nerd. No, I don't nerd. consider myself the biggest no, no. one either. But I consider myself a fan. And like, you know, Star Wars is a part of my life, but not like the Marvel movie series was. Yeah. Like, I could, like you said, it's just so consistent. <sighs> when can you name a film series that has a film every year that you can mark the passing of time with? Mm-hmm. You can mark the passing of time with these movies, you know what I mean? Like, oh, dude, I remember being in high school and getting all messed up when Iron Man 2 came out and I didn't go see it because I was all messed up. 
Like, I remember that. And I'm glad because that movie sucked. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, like literally, like those, those other movies, you can't do that. Like maybe once you went out drunk on your birthday and saw this movie with your homies and had a really cool time and story, but that's once. And then you probably never did anything with that movie franchise again, you know? Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's just such a long piece of time and thing. Like there's no way these can just be pushed out of your lives. These have become media icons basically much in the way that like the recurring characters of Darth Vader of the Terminator of Freddy and Jason like yes the movies fall off right but and they try to try to bring them back (laughs) right but people keep going to see them like they're ingrained even if even if they're not good anymore right people are still going to see it because same with halloween because it's a legacy it's 20 years 30 years it's history it's remembering your childhood and your like that my father he's like i love my my series because that's what i watched Mm -hmm. growing up like in the 70s and shit like that was what we had for horror that and poltergeist and shit and i love this kind of horror because you didn't rely on the effects you relied on the the scene and the moving and the set. Some of my favorite horror movies are still movies from the 70s. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot of good ones from there. Evil Dead, I like it. Oh, yeah. Evil Dead's classic. Uh, like I said, I love Poltergeist. Still one of That's my favorites. Good one. It's just weird scary, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not jump scary it's no. not blood scary like it has that stuff but it's weird scary you like go to the dimension and you're like what's up with these crazy little fucks and this flying ball and I this like, old uh, motherfucker I like the gate but that's 80s I think you've seen the gate I think I have seen the it's gate where they, they have like a yeah the gate to hell or whatever the, yeah it's in the backyard and it's yep. like, yeah I do that one's good like that has little, good comedy like these little creatures that come yeah like, doesn't that one have good comedy too uh yeah I think about it, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. It did, right? Yeah, that was a good one. But that, that being my point is like, you know what I mean? These genres don't die because they've been around and they do the thing and they've set themselves over time and time and time and proven that people like them. Yeah. I just, do, you, do you see that they, that these bring a lot more comic people fans, though, or not really? No. I mean, originally... That's the only thing that I, that I kind of feel bad that, though, is that it yeah. doesn't bring more... Because I'll read... Oh, do you mean I, it bring more fans to the comics? Yeah, to, like, yes. read. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, well, like, well, I just told you I have those kids. Like, even the kids oh, yeah. who aren't necessarily reading, like, they'll get interested, and that's the first step. Well, They're like, I just, well, who's that character? Yeah. Like, I've never heard of that. Like, who's Iron Patriot? I'm like, oh, do I have a story for you? Pull up a chair, you little... I've just been guess. hearing a lot of stories of com- law, the comic shop's been... Closing down the last That's print few years. That's the print media. Yeah. Newspapers no, but that, dying too. That like, has nothing. No, but to like, do. like, you're not like, gonna save the con. It's oh, gonna no, die. No, no, no. That's it's gonna die. That's what I'm saying. Let's no, be 100 no, percent honest. Do you think, do you, no, that's what I'm saying. They think like people after they see Iron Man, like, damn, I gotta go to the comic No, show absolutely not. That's not what I'm trying no, to say. And that was never gonna happen. It said, if you thought that was gonna that's happen, what I feel, you were That's what I feel bad about though. Why? It's the inevitable death of print medium, bro. It was coming. Like they're, like they're. Or people like you, me, and Stan Lee, right? Who, yeah, you can look at a pair of boobs on the internet, but it's much nicer to touch it in your hand. There are people like that, and then the people who are just fine with looking at boobs on the internet. Like, it really is. And unfortunately, no one's got the money to pay for it. Like, how much money do you spend on comics? Oh, I spend a lot. Yeah. Like, I was, like I said, I, I barely even have enough money to keep up with my digital stuff. Let alone if I wanted to buy every single issue that I wanted to read. I'd be fucking flat broke. I, oh, read, yeah. I read 300 issues a month. Easy. You know what I mean? There's n- absolutely no way I could afford 300 issues a month at 4 or $5 a piece. Or even at half price, $2, three, two mm-hmm. a piece. I just couldn't do it. You know what I mean? I'd be starving. And like print medium is cool, but it was going to die. It's the same reason the newspaper's dying. And it's, it said it's going to die. Same reason the... Uh, the uh, CD industry is going to die. Oh, yeah, that one said so digital easy, media is the innovation. It's easier, less likely to be damaged, less like, like it's just, it makes more sense. It's more logical. And so people are going to go with it. Now, are you always going to have holdouts who like physical art and, you know, you've got a ton of posters and comics and I've got, you know, little stuff and I know people who do, but those are collectors. Like, let's be honest. They have the money, time, and want to spend that to have that collection. And everybody does that. Not just comics, but football. Mm. Fucking, you know, I go into one dude's house, he's got a collection of glass skulls everywhere. You know, people collect anything. 
and that's what it is. It's it's once new media comes along, old media is obsolete, and it's it's only there for uh, nostalgia value, much like the uh, uh, vinyls. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Vinyls still get sales, so comics will always have a place. They're just they're not the main medium anymore, and they're never going to be the main medium again. Ever, it's just not going to happen. Like that's the truth. And I wish the comic in it like it reminds me of the John Wick one. And we were I was watching it, and the dude is like, gets the call. He's like, yeah, that's because your son. I punished your son because fucking he shot John Wick's dog and stole his car. And at that moment, I was like, the kindest thing you could do. Just put him out of your misery yourself, because that's a death sentence. <laughs> it was automatic. It was guaranteed. And it's the same way with this. It's like you are fighting a losing battle when instead you should be preparing for the inevitable. Prepare for the death of the comic industry. Find those stalwart, mile-high comics and these comic stores that will last the test of time and aren't falling out of business because they know how to innovate and not There's just rely on that comic were... sales. There were some that that were been around for twenty years. I forgot which which one it was. Yeah, they've been around for twenty years and they just shut down. Um, and they didn't make enough changes in the last month. I think. Like I said, the problem being, and I'll say this to any business: if you can't stay open, then you don't deserve to stay open. Like obviously, people don't want what you're selling anymore, man. Find that's why Mile High Comics is still doing all right because they decided, well, we're not just going to sell comics; we'll sell figurines and cards and anything else we can get our hands on to stay open mm-hmm. because that's what you have to do. Like I love comics, but like I said, dying medium. Like they said, it's it's just not gonna last. There's there's no m- way they could even do it. Like the the production, right? The more people there are, the more stuff you need, the more physical copies you need, the more resources you use, the more resources you use, the higher the price point runs. It just gets shittier and shittier as time goes on. Whether or not even digital comics have come to exist, eventually you hit that stopgap of there's too many people and not enough paper to go around. And so, like, it sucks, but that's the way of anything, right? Like, you know, when they invented the the fucking DVD, the CD, or not the CD, when they invented the DVD, the videotape was destined to die. And they knew it. So you know what they did? They made the best of it. They sold combination Blu-ray fucking VHS mm-hmm. players. They made, a, they made a thing. And that's why, as much as I feel bad for the comic community, it's up to them to innovate and make their way in the new world. I can't feel bad for you if you can't sell a product. That means the product's not worth selling. That's just basic economics. It's the same reason why if you can't affa- afford, why tipping is bullshit. If you can't afford to pay your workers an affordable wage, your business doesn't deserve to stay open. It's just simple economics. Like no one should have to supplement you or buy more expensive things or do something specific to keep you in business. You're a producer. You have to keep the customer happy. And if that means, oh, well, we switch to digital sales, and that's as you said you could do discounts you could do this you could sell posters with digital downloads you could sell a million billion different things and now the bigger problem being piracy right piracy is what's killing most free industry but that's like only half the issue with the comic book industry if it was just piracy like it is with the music industry then I'd be like a little more open to it because they're just straight stealing it. Mm-hmm. But that's not the case in here. People will buy digital comics and buy digital subscriptions and stuff and do and make up for a decent proportion of their sales due to that. So my mind, if you just switch your thing and let people order physical comics on demand as opposed to printing 10,000 copies of 40 different variants you're never going to sell. You see what I'm getting at? I, I, I'm very not like fat, sad for them because a lot of the things that are happening are the comic industries, not the store's fault, but the industry's fault. You release 40 different variants of mm-hmm. 10,000 copies and expect to sell that. No, you're an idiot. That's, that's not how you should do business. And of course the industry's falling to shit when you do shit like that. Like, I just can't, that, that makes me lose my mind. It's like, we're, we're in a dying industry, but we're going to print, we're going to make 40 different variant copies and make 10,000 copies each, and you have to buy this many to get that variant copy. 
like five, what is it a five thousand minimum it purchase? Depends. Um, some stars will go. Um, some stars will just won't order because it, it just depends on and how many on, orders they get in. And and the only thing that's that, why that uh, the pull list is invented for the stars because at that point then the store needs to. That's the store needs. They're putting in three months in advance to put in the order mm-hmm. that they have to trust that you're going to come in that week when it comes out and you're going to pay them and pick it up. Exactly. So they're putting in a lot of a lot of trust in the in the person. But really, the, yeah, the pull lists are they're just there to really tell the, the publishers like, okay, this is how many people really want it, so we're going to print out this many. Right. And then sometimes there's variants that you won't even find because they're like, well, we didn't order them this book nope. because nobody wanted the book. Exactly. So, and, but in the, and that's the way it should be. Are there, are there order like maybe... One one start uh, that <coughs> wore what was it the the new the new uh, agents of Atlas I think it was called. oh okay yeah because they just introduced three new characters in that oh one. that's cool um, they Filipino, needed new characters Filipino characters agents of Atlas has needed new characters but, uh, in Secret War they uh, <laughs> yeah so it's just a little tie in to the main event. And uh, a lot of people didn't really order or are ordering those Titans because you know some people if you want to, you want to get more and like involved with what the hell this event's going on, you can go ahead and buy the Titans. <laughs> but if you don't, just read the main event, right. you know? which is why I like the poll, <laughs> which is why I like the pull list better than the. Like I said I hate it when these stores will complain like, oh, we're not getting sales. We picked up five thousand copies of this one yeah. title that you knew you were going to sell, as opposed to. One of the things I think they do well and that they should continue to do, and that's a great selling point that the company should offer more, is the custom cover for the comic store where they will get the local to do the cover. Oh, I hate those. I like love those. those. Because oh, we're, us as, as collectors, oh my oh, gosh, we them. hate them because they're like, damn it, now we have to order. If we want that cover, now we got to spend an extra. Well, that's the whole point, though. If, if you want that cover yeah. for the custom local art, which I personally would pay more for because, one, it's more unique, let eat harder to find. And then, two, I guess, I don't know if collectors see, they, they actually, when they, when they do that, that adds up to the print run. So a lot, a lot of collectors see that too. They're like, well, because you can go, I think it's on Comic Ron, the website's called, and it actually shows you Comic the actual, Ron, right? Yeah, I think yeah. it's like, it actually shows you how many of the, how much you got printed right. of that run or that issue. Right. And, uh, and I'm not even saying you should have, because those should be managed in order too, right? Like if you sell those, then, you know, and you know you sell those and you know you sell roughly 50 to 100, purchase roughly 50 to 100 and sell 50 to 100. If you only sell three, purchase one and hope yeah you know what I'm saying like uh, and uh, obviously like you said we talked about it we got sometimes you have the minimum purchase limit orders but that's why you figure out what your clientele likes right you figure out your clientele say like you know I, I, and obviously my high comics isn't a big, good example because it's a huge yeah and sometimes huge their prices so. are like why is it to be fair much? it's because they're a huge huge comic book store and they have overhead they are and I, and I just I don't know sometimes, right. sometimes I look and I'm like Damn, you guys are asking way too much oh, for that. And I, and I guarantee you they are, but once again, that's how they're getting yeah. along, is they know they have this much overhead, they know they have sales from this and this, and they know they need to set the prices here. Well, and now, they, they're not perfect. Usually what I try to do, too, is they'll always do, like, and it's, they usually do, like, almost every month, they'll do, like, a 60%, 50% off. Right, to get rid and of the, all the stuff. And that's when I'll go buy those exactly. more expensive ones. They're like, yes, now it's at the right and price. People, <laughs> and people forget, like, it, it, in sales, right, you want in typical sales as opposed to personal gain, you want a triple in investment. Oh, if you some put people in, want... Sometimes oh, people some people want more, but that's... Um, yeah, yeah, that yeah, is the mean, yeah, yeah. If well, you yeah. put in that much, you want to get triple back, mm-hmm. enough to cover your cost, pay your expenses, and make some money. Yeah. And, and so, when they do those sales things, right, they're actually still breaking even. That's how they're doing it, is by keeping... It's the same as the Black Friday sale. Right, they have the prices artificially inflated for two or three months before Black Friday to drop it back down to the actual price, and you think it's a sale. Oh no, that's a, that's a, that's what we always say on the group too. We we watch Midtown Comics do the same thing all oh, the time, always. and one guy will post. He's like, "Look how much it was before, and now look how much it is." Now. Yeah, we we talk we 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 we, we talk all the damn time. These guys, and so it's like half we half. see these things, and we're like, "Yeah, um, don't like what you guys are doing." Another thing too, like, look, Marvel's do. I don't know if you heard this now. They're doing. 
thing when Mortal Hulk number 16 came out. They were making such a freaking big deal about it. Like, oh, this is going to be a first appearance of something, something. And it wasn't really that big of a deal. And they and they came out with the 1 out of 25, which already the 1 out of 25 out the gate was going for like $150, $140. And uh, it was an ugly-ass cover. I didn't like the cover anyways. Oh. And, uh, yeah, stores already out the gate selling $150, $140. And some people bought it for $140, $150. Some people, some stores were kind of nice. I've heard some stories were like, hey, I bought my ratio for $40 or $50. I was like, and they were like, damn, you guys got a good deal. And, uh... And then they went ahead and did a, 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 this has never been done before. We were like, because we kept posting on the group, like, has this been done before? Has, have they ever done this before? It's, they were doing a second print ratio. And I was like, what? That completely ruins the point of the first print ratio. Um, I mean, they do a lot of second prints and third prints for that Mortal Hulk run that they've been doing. Right, but then it's... But then, yeah, like, I know what you mean. Yeah, that's a lot of people... That's what a lot of people are saying, though, that they're like, damn, now that will probably push down the first one just a little bit. They said not a whole lot, but it'll probably still be the more sought out for. Mm -hmm. But then people are like, no, the second one will be the more sought out for because people are like... Technically, this has never happened before, and this is a second printing of a ratio, so like people are like, they're going to want that one more, which kind of ended up being a little bit true. <laughs> it's, it's weird. Comics are... It, it's it's kinda, the market's stocks, very, yeah. very weird, because even like with Hulk 181, that's technically his second appearance. Right. He actually showed up, which was a cameo appearance, in 180, at the very, very end of 180, and it's just Wolverine with his claws out. Yeah. I forget what he says. I even think he says Wolverine or something. Yeah, young yeah, Mexican with the Wolverine. Yeah, he yeah. calls himself, and it's just, that's even the first name and the first, you know, everything. But people want the 181 more. And it's really, it reminds me of stocks. Because stocks aren't valuable based on what's valuable. They're valuable based on what people think is valuable. Yeah at the moment so if you could have a totally shit company but if everyone thinks it's gold they'll buy the product for a ton mm -hmm. and it and then you will have the money they'll have the product blah 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 then the stock goes down right the market demand goes down suddenly for whatever reason it's not popular or yeah something or or the th or uh, the heat kind of dies off right and, and, it's and no that, longer and now, now everyone's talking about something else exactly next so week. now this is no longer getting attention it's no longer getting sought off sought after right it's like oh well before everyone was looking for a Hulk 181 and you you know what I mean I mean and that's it was still all one of the ones I know but, but I'm just saying yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and now, well, like, there's not even any Hulk 181s on the yeah. market, or I like, used, the price. I, I used to like, hear the gone. stories of some of the guys telling me, like, damn, I, when I, when it was back in 2000, I could have bought a Hulk 181 for 500. dollars Like, what the? F oh my gosh! And some people are like, be pissed at themselves. Like, I should have bought it for 500. And now that now. The, 6.0s, I think, go for like 1800 Well, the thing is, classics, and especially this is true for cars and comics, once it passes 20 years, it, it's never going down in value again. Oh, yeah. It's only going up in value. And it's just a value. more sought-out character everyone loves. Wolverine. Oh, yeah. I mean, Same Wolverine thing, like, is with, one of the best, with Spider for sure. man you can never go wrong with yep, Spider-Man. there's no going wrong with Spider-Man. Spider -Man. They love to collect uh, Spider-Man. Definitely. I just noticed, holy crap. Uh, we are right at about past our time, actually, but you know what? It was a good discussion. Yeah. It was a good discussion. And like I said, for the on a final note, I'll say that I want... I think the big problem with the comic industry is the damn publishers. Some people are saying that the bubble's going to pop again, but then some people are like, no, it can't because what... <sighs> It's it's not set up like how it happened in the 90s. What happened in the 90s was totally different than what's kind of happening now a little bit. Because in the 90s, they really were... I think uh, Jim Lee's X-Men number one was the first ever to be, uh, run print of a million print run. Yeah. And, like, it's... I mean, there's so many copies out there of it. And it's just like they saturated the market of right. so many it's high so print new. runs. Yep. And then, again, they kind of were doing the variant special chromio foil Oh, covers, yeah, they did all kinds of And uh, special edition covers yep. kind of crap. And, and so it, I think it definitely um, is going to be different because before it was a issue of overproduction. And right? it was a speculator's, speculator's fault a little bit, too, because then you got people who are buying, like when Spawn came out, people are flocking to buy 
so many copies of Spawn because because they had in their mindset that this is going to pay for my my children's college tuition when they get older. Right. And it ended up being that there's a lot of copies of Spawn number one out there, and it's only like worth the twenty five. I mean, right now it's probably going to be a forty thirty dollar book now because of the Spawn movie. But yeah, but right now I bought mine for like twenty bucks. It's not really that much. It, no, it's not. And like you said, once they hit that time, like some of them will go up, some of them will go down. I mean, maybe. Like, hey. I mean, I've heard people saying Spawn. It'll should, go up eventually. Go up more. There's uh, I mean, a lot of the problem like, is it's time. Yeah, it's not the movie helps right in oh, the yeah. moment, but for that after moment. the movie, it, it only pushes the the you know the, the interest, interest right yeah. for the time that the movie's in the public eye. Then once the movie's gone, yeah, then the interest dies off. Down. That's why usually people say buy after movie. Oh They'll yeah, never buy during movie hype. Or, nope, or during pre planning is never. Or even idea. when uh, when pictures start showing up, that's when people too will also. Oh yeah, well the, the big one that people like to do on the buy is like when the di- the movies are getting pitched and it's like oh Gambit so people went out and bought a bunch of Gambit shit when the Gambit movies were being pitched the first couple of years not the last couple of years but the first couple of years yeah if there's any talk of I mean people will go buy mm-hmm. and which isn't necessarily great because as we've seen with Gambit nothing happened I mean now is probably a good time to go buy <laughs> now is a good time to go buy Gambit yeah, probably because they're cheaper than ever yeah but but I mean, yeah I'm, I'm hoping that what happens is the publishers realize what demand is wanted right what the stores need and I think yeah, I just don't know who they're trying to appeal to right now and I think that's the hard thing I think that is it's also that, they're like, caught like, between... like they said like I said do you think the, the movies bring in more comic readers and it's like it's not really like you said and I think readers yes buyers no yeah so that's like, what I'm readers, saying so, readers so definitely, you like, really have more of like it's more of like me, grown men still in their pie 40s oh yeah absolutely in 50s which is yeah. why they need to go which is, but the people forget that that's not where they're getting their audience they're getting their new young audience from uh, the cartoons yeah which is really what they need to be why they need to join the adding from the cartoons into the comics and do the I mean, cartoon comics. There's comic a few series. younger collectors like me out there, but like No, I know, but, but I mean like, there's, really there's young not kids really the Avengers many, yeah, yeah. heroes. So that I'm that's talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you don't get like a ten year old be like, damn, I just watched Spider Man, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna look for a Spy- amazing fantasy fifty. <laughs> like I said, I, it was, like I said, that's why I said watchers versus buyers, the industry's dead. No one under 20 years old or 15 years old is ever going to buy a comic probably unless their parents That's bought some comics people for them. posting to they're like do you guys think our collections will be worth anything in the next while because like if you think about it like oh yeah when we all die it's done no one will want to yeah, buy the like, collection like, yeah, the museums Jesus. the museums will take them and yeah. they won't pay for them either they'll just yeah. take them so, uh, but no like I said and that we'll has see. absolutely nothing to do with the medium or not the medium but that with the subject with the content has to do with the medium it like you said it's the same thing libraries are dead yeah i try to go to the libraries so i love going to the library. i like the library <laughs> when i was a kid you could see people in the library and even then it was only so they could use the computer for free yeah like or, i was or, or, i was or rent a video the, yep or in my case, a comic book or a book. Yeah, but yeah, I, I was that's the only. Better, though, and, and, I was. <laughs> I mean, it is, and, or even music, because that was the other one that did. But like, even as a kid, like the librarians loved me because I was the only person under twenty years old who came in and took books out of the library. And they never brought them back. But <laughs> never brought them. No, I did. They even worked with me to help get my fines I down. T- and stuff, I took but... one book from them one time. I'm oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm a villain. No, but I think this was a good one. It was a good talk. It's good to talk about the comic book industry while we have time, since no one else cares about it. Uh, uh, yeah, I just I, I hear these things around the the collectors and what they say too, and it's definitely think, an and, interesting. And uh, you know. That's why some collectors too would tell some like, well, don't buy the variants then. They're just like, if you don't want to help them, just d- didn't stop buying the variants. But then the thing is, like, the variants are so the variants nice, they put out there. I want nice. <laughs> I was gonna show this one off because I really liked it. My friend Frankie had done it. Oh, that's cool. Well, Frank or uh, Frankie Serna, the yeah. Hulk. That's yep. a cool one. And I have one to give away during the next cast. See, look, I got another one on the back. There's a really nice. Uh, I think so you guys are trying the conversation now. You, you gotta talk. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> talk. And Leo, you can't have it. <laughs> we'll see about how. I like it though. I like how the lightning came out. This is some nice stuff. 
I'm gonna have to give some comics away too because I have a shit ton that I just I like probably won't, probably won't be able to sell. So I'll just let's get rid of them. Just don't, get rid of don't forget this is coming out, boys and girls. Oh yeah. Oh, I also forgot too. They, this is uh, something that he gave me. I actually purchased those other ones for the. Oh, I, and I purchased this one. Where'd you see him at again? Uh, Starfest. Oh, he was there. Is he local? Yeah, he does uh, San Diego and stuff, but he's a local. He just is in the professional business. So, like, uh, that was a nice one, but these are the other things we'll be giving away. Are these little stickers I got from him. He gave me some, got like a spawn, Wolverine, uh, Batman trio. I consider this the true Batman trio. Anybody else poses? <laughs> Venom, Spidey. Um, oh, yeah, he gave me two of those in accident. There's another one. There's like a Howard the Duck or something I really like. Ah. Well, that's cool. I like that one. Yeah, Howard the Duck. He does good stuff. I like all, a lot of his work. Uh, actually, a good amount of the work on the wall is his, too. And we still have that Venom. Oh, uh, no, the Carnage. It's either Venom or the Carnage to give away. Well, so we're to do that one first, though. Either one. All right, we'll, we'll figure it out. Over there. Let's figure it out. Oh, wait, uh, no. No, we don't. I forgot someone won and I still haven't delivered it. <laughs> but it's because I know them personally oh, and I need okay, to okay. hand it to okay. them and I keep oh, forgetting it's probably easier to stand oh yeah alright well that's All right. an hour and a half we'll see we've you done our time we'll see you next week